Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I do believe you guys are having a good time. Hope your day went well. On the last topic on fashion business 101. Don't forget that just in case you haven't seen the business the, the video, we talk about fashion business 101. And the reason why I titled it 101 is because there are over 99 plus things behind that we could talk about before I jump to 101. And just in case the other 99% of things is just the basic skills on how to know fabric. So I don't want to like go into the nitty gritties of all the stuff. Let's just go into the most important thing, which is the fuel that will make your engine run. In the video, I talk about sales. This is the major topic. Sales. And I make, I, I make sure you guys understand that sales is the bedrock of any business it doesn't matter what you do for your business to continue to run two months three months seven months one year five year ten year fifty years the only thing that will keep your business operating is sales and if sales is the only thing that will keep your business operating why shouldn't you why can't you why should not all your focus be on how to make sales which is the engine of it doesn't matter if there's a chair in a car if the car cannot move there's no there's no need for trying to get it to move but the most important thing that will make a car move from one place to the other is fuel and sale sales is the fuel that you need so now we want to talk about how to make sales i am not a professional i'm just going to share my own experience and just my basic fundamentals of how to make sales I want to numb down, like I want it to be as easy as possible for you to understand. So I want to watch this video from beginning to the end. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you're yet to subscribe to the channel. Sales. I'm going to say whatever business you're doing, if you are an architect, if you are a fashion designer, if you are a developer, it doesn't matter. The same thing applies to every business. So first, you have to understand what is your job. What are you doing? I'm going to say you're a fashion designer. Fashion designer, tailor, whatever, it does not matter. Your business is to sell clothes. So under product, product, you have clothes. Your business is to sell clothes. And who are the people you are going to sell this clue to? There are people. I just said that. Who is going to buy this clue from you? People. Consumer. Consumer. Okay, it's consumer. Consumer, which is people. I want it to be as simple as possible. But how many type of people do we have? We have two type of people. Male and female. Now, I want you to decide which one are you making the clothes for. Is it male or is it female? Here, yeah. type of consumer. Type of consumer. TC, let me use that. Male. You see, you could actually decide uh, you want to do for female, you can do for children. That's a niche. During my inside our ready to wear class, I went deep down into the all of these, how to get your niche and stuff like that. But here, I just want to focus on the construct of sales. So, we have the clothes, we have the people, and we have the gender, which is male, right? So, once you have the people, you, you have the products, you, you understand the products that you're making, it doesn't matter if you're, you sew it and you give it to them, or, or you sew it ready-made and you come to buy it. What really matters is that you know that you're making the clothes for people. So, now, the thing between you and people is awareness. Awareness. The only thing between you and this set of people here is awareness. How can you, which is the owner of the product, get to these people in order to tell them this is what you do? And outside of these people, then you are going to get a certain amount of people, which is the male. Out of these people, you are going to filter these people in order to meet the people that actually need your product. So now, the, the, my mentor once told me something sometimes ago. He said, 
Wherever there is people, that is where the money is. You don't have to follow the money. You just have to follow the people. So now life has become easier. There's a place in which you can find a lot of people, unlimited amount of people, right? Now, in order to meet this set of people, where can you go to? Number one, social media. Social media. All the social media, you should be everywhere. Should be on Instagram. Should be on YouTube, you should be on TikTok. If you're a business person and you want to make money, this is where people are. You should be on Twitter, you should be on LinkedIn, you can be on everywhere. There's no matter where, just be everywhere. Now, I want you to focus more on where there are a lot of people. And if it is not social media, if it's physical people, right? Where can you meet these people? Religious gathering. Religious garden, maybe like church, mosque. These are the places in which you can see people together. And I'll advise you: don't. It, it, it's time consuming to start speaking to one person per one person. How long will it take you to speak to ten thousand people? So if you're doing it, do it in a constructive way, whereby you can talk to like three people at the same time. Let's say in a church, you can gather like three guys and be like, "Oh, I'm a fashion designer. See my design. See my design. See my design." And it talks like 10 of them. You see, in my own perspective, this is how I do it. I'm really, really crazy when it comes to like, I had to like get a customer. I had to meet a certain target of money. I had to make in a certain period of time. It's crazy. These are the ways you have to do it. But number two, which is the religious gathering. Number three, school. School. Number four. Number four, maybe like a social gathering, maybe like a meeting, a hookup, a party or anything. There are a lot of ways like that. But the most important thing is now to talk to people. And the most easiest way is to understand the construct of conversion. Now, once you meet this set of people, it does not matter where you meet them, whether you meet them on Instagram or on Facebook, and you are able to filter them as male. You are able to filter them as, I want male people to, guys to purchase my products, right? Now, require the conversion. Being able to convert them to patronize you require a certain level of a certain level of understanding. Number one, it is true your product has to be appealing, right? Your product has to be appealing. Your uh, your, your your sales and your design has to be your sales strategy and your design has to be convincing and things like that. But the most important thing is to understand the loops in which. Once they see the style, let's say they see the product here, once you eventually find them, maybe on Instagram or anywhere, and in order for them to reach you, you just have to like, maybe click the button to your WhatsApp. On that WhatsApp, you can simply share them, send the picture of the product to them, which is your design, or even they can just see the picture of the design on Instagram, right? Once you give them the platform where they can see this product, which is your design, the next thing is to, Figure a way in order to convert them. Buyer. And the other aspect of being able to convert them into buyer is kind of tricky. Right? You don't want to do too much and you don't want to like be too relaxed. So you have to balance it up. Right? You have to balance it up. Once somebody see my picture on Instagram and they like the clothes or they like the outfit, they like whatever they see, and they want to patronize me, they can easily come to my GM. That is if you are able to do a no. This requires a strong content. The picture has to be appealing. Whatever they see has to be as appealing as possible. That will make them to click that button to send you a message. What you really, really want is for them to click the button and send you a message, or to drop a comment. That is where it all starts from. That is the killing part. You have to follow as crazy as possible. Now, let's say you take a good picture. That is another, that's another topic on its own, creating content for your product, right? That's another topic. And you're able to like, 
get them to click on the on the on the uh, the message button and they message you. There's no matter if it's a comment or it's anywhere and they message you and you are able to like have a conversation. That is the most important part. You should be able to sell them. You should be able to sell them. Just no matter whether the price or anything, just make sure you convince them. And that is where the salesman strategy comes in. You have to be a solid salesperson. And a lot of ways in which you can also, also, also make sales. There are, there are so many ways that I will not be able to like go through. They are kind of like tricky and a lot of crazy ways in which you can make sales. But the most common one that you can easily follow through for now is the social media religious school. Whether you collect their phone number, let's say it's, it's the physical one, you go to them, they meet in church, you get their phone number, you just, once you get the phone number, and you're able to message them, and they're able to respond to your message, that is the beginning of salesmanship. You have to be able to sell them. And in order to get more customer, I'm going to use this basic analytics. If you can get your clothes in front of 10 people, your design in front of 10 people, you have a tendency of converting one person out of 10 people. Now, if you reach 100 people, you have the, you have the, you have 1% chance of convincing like 10 of them. The more the people you could reach, the more the sales you could convert. It's as simple as that. So most people say they don't use Instagram, they don't use social media, most fashion designer, most business people, they don't use internet. In order to scale up big way, in order to reach multitudes of people at the same time, you have to use social media. It's, it, it's just what it is. You have to use social media. You have to figure a way to meet a lot of people. And the easiest way, if it is 1990, 1960, uh, 1960 and in the 1800s before, you don't have this power. But this power, Right there in your hand, with your phone, you can post a picture and 20 people can see it. The very first day I post my, my, my picture, like a picture of myself on Facebook, and my old friend, that was a long time ago actually, and my old friends actually comment and like the video. That was the day I realized that I have power in my hands. I have power in my hand. Since then, you cannot see me posting nonsense on the internet. I have to post something that actually help people. I just like to help people personally. Something that help people or something that help me myself. And in, in, in using the word help me myself is the fact that I want to post a product that will help you if you buy it, maybe you like yourself, you wear it, you enjoy it. And at the same time, you're going to pay me, which is going to help my life and make my life easy. It's as simple as that. You have to focus more on the construct of sales. Under this video, I'm going to link a couple of books that you can read on how to become a good salesperson. How to be able to like speak fluently, ask questions, tell them about things, sell people on products and stuff like that. And that will be about it on this video. On the next topic, we're going to talk about something else. This is, uh, this is a lot of, a, a lot of topics that you cannot cover. Fashion business is huge. It's extremely huge. I'll cover that on another topic, but this is just about how to get sales, where you can get sales and stuff like that. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you need to subscribe to the channel. If you have a friend that uh, is, is also a business person and you think this video might help the person, you can kindly just share the video with the person, share it on your status, let people know about the video. And that will be about it. Do have a lovely rest of your day. I will see you in the next video. Peace.